Hello, third year. How are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, today is Wednesday, the 5th of August. It's a sunny and hot day. Congrats, yes, because in there were very good results in the um, revision on Unit 8, yes, not only in the grammar, but also in the written. And those who uh, were more or less the 60%, you need to study a bit more, yes? Check the mistakes, see if you understand. So the first thing you are going to do now is to check, open your file, check the, the mistakes, yes, see your corrections, yeah? Then we are going to go to unit eight, pages 108 and 103, the video watch, you are going to do these exercises, and as homework, you are going to read chapters seven and eight from the turn of the screw, you are going to write your uh, brainstorming and send me in PDF, PDF, and then when you finish it, you are going to record a uh, um, three minutes video explaining chapter seven and eight, and that's all. Ojo, uh, you know that this is for Literatura Complementaria, second term. Okay, so let's go very quickly to um, the um, correction, yes, of the mistakes. Right. Okay. Hello, hello. So here we have exercise eight. Much, yes, okay. Rock lives in a part of the USA. Yes, this is number one. Number two. Uh, most of my friends listen to music, yes, listen to music, so we have which, yes, e, they download, blah, 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 yes, okay, which, entonces teníamos que las cosas usábamos which, with things, which, yes, or that. Number three, with Google Earth, I can see the street where, a. Number four, John blah 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 was the man who F. That's the camera which or that. In este caso which porque no teníamos that. And then this is the researches, researches, researchers, investigadores who. Yes, exercise D. Let's go to exercise two. Yes. Okay. I can't remember the website where I saw the information. Two, do you know the girl who writes the blog, this travel blog? Four, that's the phone which Susan keeps talking about. See, five, I need to go back to the bank where I open. Joe has a cousin who designs. Yes, okay, good. Number three, let's go to number three. Okay, two, where, building where, number three, three, the feature, the feature which, number four, who, designer, <coughs> sorry, number five, that, Communication. <coughs> Sorry. Number six, where? The university, where? And number seven, Simone, who? Exercise four. Oops. Josefina, you did the, um, the grammar, but you forgot to do the writing, darling. Yes, okay? Good. Well, exercise four. When I go for a run, I often download cards. Ojo, quiero mostrar algo acá. Esto es lo que yo le decía cuando tengo el if. 
El if puede estar en esta parte de la oración o adelante, digamos, o acá. Entonces, no va a cambiar porque acordate que el if va pegado de su tiempo verbal. ¿Y es? If present, pa, 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 esté acá o esté acá. If present, present, esté acá o esté acá. Lo que cambia es la otra parte, no la if clause. Yes, ok. Entonces, cards, yes, ahí no puede ir el will. Yes, ok. Porque tenemos if, el cero, condicional cero y condicional one. Plus present, plus present. And then we have if, plus present, plus will. Entonces, esto va pegado. Esto va pegado. Este acá o este acá. Este acá o este acá. Y esto esté en la primera parte. Por ejemplo, I will have, uh, I will go to Miami. I will go to the city center if it is sunny. I will do exercises if it is sunny. O oh, if it is sunny, I will do exercises. ¿Está? Entonces, eso tome, tenganlo en cuenta porque después va a venir el conditional 3, el, el conditional 2 y el 3. Que siempre es una buena, un buen tip para recordar. 2. Uh, a ver, a ver, a ver. Cars will be more environmentally friendly. Entonces, if van a estar a 2. Está si, sí, acá está. If present, will. ¿Está? Yes, ok. Do you, number 5, yes. Do you feel very tired if you don't get enough sleep? ¿Te sentís cansado si no dormís? Number five. Will. If, see, if I see Mara, I will tell her. If you hear water, si el agua, 10 degrees, ¿qué pasa? Hierve. ¿Está? If, present, present. Yes, okay. Well, uh, next. You don't connect. Yes. If scientists... Scientist, Uh, number one, this is number five, okay? Wait a minute. You won't be able to download, blah, 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 if you... No, acá tenemos. Will, y acá está el if, en esta parte. Entonces, if más, if you don't connect. If plus present plus will. Lo único que te hace, esto es lo que yo te dije cuando te expliqué el, uh, los conditionals. Que esto puede estar acá o allá. Pero siempre va en bloque. Nunca se despega. ¿Yes? ¿Está? I always order pizza if I have to borrow. If más, if más present. Acá está el if. Más present, más present. If you email him tonight, he will see. Verá tal cosa. If más present. Acá está el if más will. If you plug, no va con ED, this, da, 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 begins, at the moment. if present, present. If you will, no, porque no hay ningún condicional que diga if will. If present plus will, entonces está mal. If you subscribe, you will send, ¿ok? Bueno, y después el otro tenemos 1B, 3A, 4B, 5B y 6A. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Right. So, let's go... Um, To the video watch. We are going to watch the video. Yes, you are going to do the activities at home. Yes, and but first of all, yes, okay, we are going to look at the photo and you have to describe this photo. Yes, what you can see here. Yes, what kind of technology can you see? Is a uh, camera, yes, okay, you have uh, earphones, yes, and um, the, they are, they don't seem to be, these people don't seem to be very technological, yeah, there is a, a little girl that is barefoot, ¿sabes lo que es barefoot? Descalza, muy bien, and they are sitting on a kind of rack, yes, Okay, using modern technology to record ancient languages. Okay, so you will listen to this and see this video and you will um, understand why this camera is there. It's to record language, the language. Because I think, because they say 
that this language will disappear. Yes? Okay, number two. Yes, okay, so we have disappears, awareness, die out, survive, shift, and neglect. So I want you to highlight all these words. Yes, all these words, they are. Okay, and then put a uh, join. Disappears, disappears, okay? So we have two, yes, one, A. Yes, one, A, stop existing, yes, that is disappear. Two, C, two, C, awareness, yes, two, C, knowledge, yes, awareness, yes, it's a knowledge, understanding, yes, of a situation, okay? 3D, yes, 3, die out, please, become less common and finally disappear, yes, okay? 4F, 4F, survive, is to continue to live or exist in a difficult situation, yes? 5B, yes, shift in, yes, is to change in something, yes, and 6E, neglect. Yes, forget about it, okay? Now you will do exercises three and four, yes? Then you will do five and complete this uh, text, yes? Using the language, um, about the language using words from the video. Is it clear? Good. Then I'm going to dictate the answers, yes? But first of all, we're going to see the video. David Harrison and Greg Anderson work for the Living Tongues Institute. Chris Rainier is a photographer for the National Geographic Society. Their aim is to help save ancient languages which are disappearing by writing them down and also recording them using modern technology. Ancient languages, the Living Tongues Institute. Chris Rainier is a photographer for the National Geographic Society. Their aim is to help save ancient language. Okay, he wants to, he's a scientist and he, uh, from the National Geographic team, and he's trying to save, yes, language, yes, because he's going to, it is going to disappear in a few years. So one way of saving, one way of doing that is recording it, yes, okay? Which are disappearing by writing them down and also recording them using modern technology. Okay, so he writes down the language and records the language, yes? They are interviewing a man in Australia who is possibly the last speaker of a language that most people thought had died out. But okay, so this man, the one that you are seeing here, might, might be the last man that speaks the language. So he is very important, yes? Team translate his words and record the interview. So they translate, the team translates the, the language and they record it. My grandmother, my father. There are 7,000 known languages in the world. 7,000 known languages in the world. So you thought that uh, the only languages that you know are English, Spanish, Italian, Japanese? No. Non-language. Se languages. 7,000 languages. Yes? Okay? There are 7,000 known languages 7, in the world but more than half of them will probably disappear in the next 50 years. And when a language disappears, we lose the information about the world that its speakers had. Every two weeks around the planet, a language disappears, completely disappears forever and ever. So what we're doing with the Enduring Voices Project is really kind of trying to bring awareness to this whole issue of language loss around the planet. After Australia, the team travels on. This time they travel to the northeast of India, an area near Bhutan, Myanmar, and China. It's a region where there are many different languages. 
but many of them could die out in the next few years. Okay, so in this region, yes, uh, he's saying that many languages can die out, yes, can disappear very soon, yes, and in this region, yes, not, there is not only one language, but there are many languages. For the team, there are problems with the technology. Their equipment isn't working. Say something. Something. Something that I'm really getting annoyed with this equipment, making it my life a hassle. Hey! Okay. <laughs> Good Most of these local language. languages are not written anywhere. So the researchers want to record as much of the languages as possible. The team arrives in a large village called Hong. Many of the older people speak the local language called Apatani. But the language cannot survive if the younger people don't speak it. Okay, so the only way that this language will survive is if the children, if the young people talks it, yeah, speaks it, sorry, speaks it, yes? If not, it will die out. It's very easy in these communities to find young people who are speaking English and Hindi and not speaking the traditional languages. They're okay, so they speak English, yes, but they don't speak their traditional language. So it is about, yes, to die out. It is about to disappear. Blacking them, they're perhaps even abandoning them. The team spends time trying to find some younger people who speak the language. We definitely want to find younger speakers because they're the ones that would be showing the shift. The older speakers, of course, will have the language. I would be interested to see people who have schooled in the modern times if they still kept it. <laughs> the team meets a young man named Vijay who speaks English and Apatani. Vijay invites them into his home. A local Indian called Ganesh Murmu helps the researchers while they record basic words of the local language. How you count? One, two, three, four, one. Each member of the family says some more words. What are they doing there? Yes, they are repeating the numbers. They are repeating the parts of the face. Yes, okay. They want to record everything. If they don't record, if nobody in the village, if anybody there, yes, and any young people speak there, the language will die out. Yeah. As well as doing their own research, the team trains local people to use special language technology kits. These technology kits have a laptop computer, laptop computer, video cameras, and video cameras, basic recording equipment, recording so equipment. Local community can record the last speakers of old languages using modern technology. Not only are these languages very small, with just a few thousand speakers in some cases, but their numbers may be decreasing as people shift over to global languages. Okay, why the number of speakers is decreasing? Yes, because they are, they are doing this. The words you have there, they are, they are shift. They are, you know, listen again. What is shift? They are changing. Yes, to languages. Yes, to modern languages. This language is very small, with just a few thousand speakers in some cases, but their numbers may be decreasing as people shift over to global languages. Shift to, yes, okay? Yes. To global language, yes? Finally, it's time for the three men to leave this part of India. 
but they hope that the local communities will use the technology kits and record this important part of their local culture. They hope that the people will listen to the words of the older people and try to keep the language alive and speak it themselves. Okay, try, which they hope, researchers hope that these people, yes, uh, speak the language, yes, and keep it alive. Because if they don't learn, if they don't speak the language, it will die out, yes? It will finish, yes? That's a very interesting video, as all the videos that I have shared with you. Yes, okay? So, um, shall we check exercise five? There are, yes. Okay, well, 1B, 2C, 3C, 4B, and 5A. Exercise 6, known to dying out, yes, die out, disappear. Number 3, forever. Number 4, equipment. Number 6, basic. Number 7, survived. And number seven, number six survived, and number six schooled. Yes. Okay. Well, remember to do uh, the homework, brainstorming, chapter seven and eight, and record it. A video, record the video telling the chapter seven and eight. Bye bye. Happy weekend. See you next class.